Good morning, you guys. I am in the car again. I feel like every time I come on, I'm on. I'm in the car somewhere. <laughs> Talking to you guys, but I'm up early this morning. Well, it's not really early. It's like nine something, I believe. But it's real gloomy outside, so it's giving like early, early. Um, but I have to go to LabCorp again. Um, and then I am going to Target because I saw that they have these card games. One I saw on TikTok for couples and it's called Let's Get Deep. So me and my boyfriend, I'm going to get that so we can play. It's like an icebreaker question that you got to choose. Then there's a deep question. And then from there, it's a deeper question, I believe. That's what I saw on TikTok. So I'll show you guys once I go pick it up from Target um, after I leave the doctor's office. Um, and then the other game was called Incoherent or something like that. And um, it's basically a bunch of words that sound like a, a word or a phrase. And like you have to figure out what it is. So I can't even give y'all an example of that because it's just, I'm going to have to show y'all when, when I get the game. Um, but yeah, I'm getting those two games from Target because me and my boyfriend were going to Richmond this weekend. It's like, we're not trying to really be out here in these streets because of COVID and the Omarion. It's like, no. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to um, Richmond and, um, you know, just kind of feel like we're getting away. Um, and I go back to work on freaking Monday. Like, who told break to go by this quick? Like, I'm, it's, it's only Wednesday, but still, it's just like, honey, like, I just got off last. I worked, wait, yeah, I worked Thursday, um, but we got out three hours early, and it's just like, Thursday about to be here again? Like, what the hell? But I guess when you're having fun, like they say, time go by fast, so. But yeah, y'all, I am on my way to the doctor's office, and then once I get to Target, I will probably um, come back and show you guys, like, the, you know, the games and stuff, and we'll just see. I, I looked on Target um, app, to see if they had the games, but you know how Target be um, with they stock, you know, everybody shopping or whatever. So we'll see if they have them. Um, and then I'll show you guys what the games look like. Guys, it might be some examples on the boxes. So I might be able to show you from there. Um, but yeah, I'll be back to talk to you guys because I am driving. So I will see you guys in a sec. All right, so I'm looking for the game. Girls. Oh, there it is right there. Let's get deep. All right, so I found both of them. Let's get deep. Oh, incoherent. Yeah, I'm getting both of these. All right, you guys. So I got the two games, like I told you guys. Hold on, I'm going to have to put this up because, um, I can't hold this and show you guys so all right let me put this up y'all i have got to find me another car mount like it, it it is imperative okay so that's out the way all right so this is the game this is well this is one of the games called let's get deep it says take time to take things to the next level spice up your date night and get to know your significant other by asking and answering fun creative questions within three levels of int intimacy intimacy level one is icebreaker um so two of the questions well one of the questions say do you sing in the shower so that's the icebreaker question the other one says what's your go-to snack at the movies okay so those are icebreaker questions then you have level two level two is deep so the first question on here says what's your guilty pleasure um number two says what's something you're weirdly good at number three um, I mean, so level three is deeper. So you have icebreaker, deep, then deeper. Okay. Let me make sure my door is locked. Deeper, the first question says, what's the sexiest thing about me? 
okay so you starting to get into them juicy questions with your significant other um once you get to the deeper level okay um and then the second question says what's something embarrassing you do when no one is home okay so you're asking them questions that's kind of like prying in to see like how your person feels about you what they know about you um and just kind of like asking some questions that you would never even think to ask your person like um the second game is called incoherent the adult party game where you compete to guess the gibberish so that's what i was trying to say like basically it's like a bunch of gibberish like words and stuff that come up like that will create phrases or actual words and you have to like guess what it is so it says each card has a combination of words on the front that look like nonsense but when re when recited out loud they sound like the hidden phrase on the back so one side has the actual phrase on it which is the back side of the card and then the front is what you're showing to the person and try to get them to figure it out i'm gonna give you guys an example of one so this one says thirds teeth or stay so what does that sound like i'm going to tell you guys like all oh, bucks like i probably wouldn't even get this question also gives you hint so it says the hint is not tgi friday not tgif so it really gets you thinking like what what is this thing trying to tell me to say so i got these and we're gonna play these this weekend so that's interesting but like i said y'all i'm finna turn up on this um new year's christmas break because it's about to get real next year and i'm just excited to get things moving so let me put, I need some hand sanitizer. But y'all, it is dead in the stores, honey. I guess because everybody did their Christmas shopping and all that stuff and everything, but the stores is dead for real, for real. It ain't nobody in the store, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that because ain't nobody trying to get COVID and um, the less people, the better, so. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to go. I think I have enough time to go back home. So I think I'm gonna go back home and then I'm gonna go up with my boyfriend and yeah so i'll be back to talk to y'all i could do this for hours and hours i usually i want to of the snow has melted um we were closed for work monday and tuesday and then we ended up being virtual for the rest of the week come on green lights stay green stay green stay green stay green thank you jesus so um i ended up saying oh, i'm gonna go to Lidl because y'all know i love me some Lidl, Lidl grocery store because they be having like some you know nice stuff for for the low and it's like quality food so that's why i'm on my way to go now i just left target and i left the mall because i needed to get some um sweatpants some more sweatpants but i need an extra small h m sweatpants and which is crazy to me because they must really like fit oversized because i feel like in pants i need like a small or a medium but even a medium is like too too big it's like a extra it's almost like a extra large on me which is crazy so i ended up leaving out of there because one i had no service and two it was it just wasn't given and they didn't have the color the, the color that i wanted um in the sweatpants so i was like yeah, i'm not going to get those oh let me back up I'm 
Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I'm back at Lidl. And I'm getting ready to go in and get some groceries. Um, there's Lidl right there. And y'all, let me show y'all the stuff I got from Target. So, I went into Target not knowing what I really wanted to get. But, um... I was like, you know, let me just go in there just because, you know, Target can sometimes be like therapeutic just to go in and just see everything. Don't mind my car. It is a little bit junky, but I'm going to get that together once the snow gets out the way and I can fully like clean my car out. So I went to Target and initially I had like bath towels and stuff like that because I was like, yeah, I probably need, you know, some more bath towels or whatever, wash gloves. Didn't end up getting that, putting that back and... I ended up getting this little like notebook journal thing. It's by Opal House. It was only like it was only five dollars. Um, and I plan on doing something with this, probably like saying the things that I'm grateful for every single day and putting them in here. Um, and then in this one, this nice pretty one, it says have fun, innovate, encourage, be honest, inspire, experience, and be kind. This one is by then thimble press yep yeah, thimble press and i believe this one let me see where's my receipt so this one was 9.99 so this book was 9.99 the other one was five dollars and i plan on this one um just writing some of the things that i want for myself um stuff that i'm like super excited about stuff that I know that I want for myself stuff that I you know learned over the course of the year and I just wanted to like you know do some do better with like kind of just like not just saying the things that I want to do but also writing it out and just speaking it into existence you know manifesting and all of that so I ended up getting that and I also ended up getting these sharpie um felt tip pins and y'all I really love sharpie so I was like they have pins i did not know that they had pins so i had to grab these and these were not cheap i believe these were seven dollars and something um but i really wanted to get the bigger pack which was like 16 dollars and something but i was like i'm not yeah i'm not spending that much for some pins that i'm only going to use like once a day so yeah these will be specifically for writing and you know just speaking out and manifesting the things that i want so i'm excited about that and to just start you know, doing the things that I need to do to make sure I am where I'm supposed to be. right now at the dermatologist um because you guys know i'm on a skin journey so that's why i'm here um but i just figured i would come on and just kind of chit chat with you guys for a quick second so the doctor comes in um today's wednesday and i'm ready for the weekend and i also wanted to show you guys kind of how my hair is holding up my hair is still very very soft this hair is from Nadula hair. And it's really nice. The lace was already tinted. And I just did some plucking of the baby hairs. And here we are, girl. Oh, my sounds a lot kind of. But I love this color. I feel like it doesn't really hold a curl like that, but. I don't mind the messy beach waves. So, but yeah, y'all. I'll come back and talk to you guys in a little while. And kind of let you guys know what the process of, you know, this new skincare journey that I got going on. I, um, I'm coming to get the information about it today. So, I'll be able to give y'all a little bit more information about how the plan is supposed to go. So, I'll be back to talk to you guys in a little bit. Yes. 